crab news. <laughs> okay. Is there a sort of little? Crab news. Crab news. Oh, I'm so excited. How much crab news do you have? <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to think. How of... many stories are crab related in your massive document of weird news? I'm trying to think of some crab jokes. Just give me a second. You won't believe this. You're going to have to pinch yourself. <laughs> See that you're not dreaming. <laughs> oh, oh, you were really scraping the crab bucket. Mm. On that one. No. no. We're not supposed to, it's fine. Let's just do the articles. They'll maybe give us all the puns. They're yeah. always full of crab puns. They usually are. So this story oh, yeah. is about a, a Christmas island. Have you heard of Christmas island? Christmas island. Crisp musk island. <laughs> no, I've never heard of it. It was discovered on Christmas day? Was it? On... By John Christmas. Very coincidental. <laughs> So they've got a crab there. Yeah. We're about to be run over by a car. So this species of crab is called a robber crab. Okay. Only joking. It's a crab that is actually a robber because it stole a camera. Right. Did, you almost believed that, didn't I you? I did, I thought it was called a robber crab. That sounds like a legit crab. It's not a ro no, doesn't it? There's loads of Wait, stupid named crabs. Better read the article just in case it's... <laughs> 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 the robber crab, crab lived up to its name. I'm pretty sure You're it not gonna is. Believe I'm it. pretty sure it is that. Oh my god! Okay. It's got to be called a robber crab, right? That's a real thing. Yeah, they are a real thing. Oh my fucking god! I, I can't believe it. I, I literally why cannot you were believe only joking. it. I'd heard of it. I literally cannot believe that they're called robber crabs. It's a coconut crab. It's I can't. A coconut crab. What? I guess, the... Why would it be called a coconut crab? Because they eat coconuts. Well, no, but it doesn't look... Wait, why would they eat coconuts? How do they get them down? They shake the tree. With the pincers. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a coconut crab is the same thing as a robber crab. They're commonly known as coconut crabs. I don't think anyone calls them robber crabs and haven't in 50 years. But maybe for the sake of the article, they were like, Oh, the robber crab. Oh. Well, maybe they've stolen things previously, though. Maybe Johnny Christmas was there, discovering Christmas Island, turned his head away for a second, mm. boat was gone. Oh my god! He was stranded. The crabs had... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Off they go. Oh my god. Yeah. Discovering the world in his place. It all fell apart for him, though. It all fell apart. All fell, all fell apart for him. I'm trying to think of a crab-related Okay, pump. hang on. Hang on. They ended up in the Bay of Biscay. Oh! Okay, so they can measure up to a meter wide and weigh four Holy kilos. Holy shit! That's massive. That doesn't make me happy. Maybe they can shake the trees and get coconuts down. So the researchers set up this thermal imaging camera in order to study a flying fox. What the fuck kind of robber crabs? Flying foxes? <laughs> what, what is, is this? Next? The X Men, but with animals. <laughs> So this crab was worth six thousand dollars. What are you um, fucking talking about? How is a crab? Oh, what? Because people eat them, I guess. No, they? not the crab. The camera. Oh, fuck. Sorry. The, you said the crab was worth. Did it. I? Yes. We're very confused. I genuinely thought the crab was worth six thousand. I was like, was it someone's pet? Was it like a specially <laughs> trained crab that was able to dodge away from the coconuts as they fell from the tree? Where's my Robbie? Robbie the robber <laughs> crab. <laughs> and it's like, you know, bring back dead or alive, six thousand dollars. And he's like, like why do you want it dead? <laughs> Well, you know, they're tasty, you know. Yeah, I suppose that was the end goal. Um, meter wide. They're and big they, boys. They can live up to 80 years as well. So, um, they've been bothering me ever since I started my PhD, said Western Sydney University Doctor of Philosophy candidate for Annabel Dorostein. Jesus. She's, uh, she's Australian. Dragging away my cameras. I just see them and I run after them and they let go and I retrieve my equipment. Oh, it's like they've been caught red clawed. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I can have that! They let can, me have I'll this! That's, that was a good one. I mean, look, they got red claws! I'm look. groaning in enjoyment. That's my okay. That was my positive response. I mean, they're more orange, but... <laughs>
I like that. It sounds cute. They sound, they sound cute and mischievous. Crabbing up to you, stealing your stuff. I wonder Crabbing why off. they do it. Do they think it's all food they're or? They're selling it on eBay. Those bastards. <laughs> Fucking. Well, I guess it wouldn't be eBay. It would be, oh, it would be. It would be. Bay of Biscay. <laughs> eBay of Biscay. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Dorenstein said she set up a $6,000 camera on a tripod with an external battery, but when she returned the next morning, the camera was gone. The thief left an obvious clue. Okay, so what do we think the obvious clue is? Hmm. <clears throat> what would a crab leave behind? Uh, foot footprints. Sideways footprints. Yeah. What else do we know about crabs? Because maybe it stole some shoes and is wearing... Well, I would have to steal... Eight, eight legs? Do they have eight legs, crabs? Yeah? No, says Tom. Don't they? Shaking his head. They're crustaceans, aren't they? Do you reckon, <clears throat> what, did it snip the cables? Okay. Like, do you reckon that's it? What are you doing? I'm trying to spell coconut. I type, <laughs> I type coconut. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also fixed it for you, actually. So just press space and carry on. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people misspell it. It's a very easy, I never thought until now how easy it was to fuck that up. Oh shit. It does make sense. I can't believe it. Stop it. There we go. <coughs> okay. <coughs> it's a coconut, it's a crab, a big old, uh, the palm thief. Mm. There you go, there's no name for it. We're searching the Wikipedia article. Ten legs. Ten legs? Yeah. Jesus Christ! Oh, uh, uh, I don't like the look of that. It looks like a plant. So ten legs. It'd have to steal five pairs of shoes. I see. Or break into a clerk's and just steal like eight single shoes from where you like try them on, because they only ever have like one shoe in a box, just in case people steal them. And if they do steal them, they only have one shoe. But if you're a crab. I guess it doesn't matter. Were well, you saying that crabs don't <laughs> don't mind about wearing mismatched shoes? Yeah, they don't care. Crabs. Right. <laughs> it's a good point. I hadn't <clears throat> thought of it like that. So what was the telltale sign that a crab had been there? So, there was a tripod the camera was mounted to and they saw claw marks on the tripod. Is that it's it? It's like a fucking Sherlock Holmes crime scene. It's like <laughs> Sherlock Holmes turns up and he like does his mind palace and he looks at the whole thing and is like, like half eaten coconuts and like <laughs> some other crabs just hanging around. <laughs> he picks up like a, a cigarette butt and he's like, this is a brand often favoured by the crab. <laughs> oh my God, that's her in her There's like... There's a picture of her looking happy before her shit got stolen by crabs. Yeah. That van's been made off with as well. She hasn't got that anymore. It's all gone. It looks like a Jurassic Park <laughs> van, doesn't it? It does look like, I mean, even like the background, it all looks Jurassic Park. You've got to think, well, they are on an island. I feel like it's like almost determined for them. They can't help but wanting to look like a Jurassic Park van. Do you know what I mean? If you, if you it's got to be a 4x4, four four, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Because crabs are kind of like what's left of dinosaurs, aren't they? They're like super old. Crabs have been around for a long fucking time. No, they only live for 80 years. Yeah, but how long do dinosaurs live for? What I'm saying is crabs couldn't have been around at the same time if they can only be 80 years old. No, I, I guess you're right. They would have been born during the Second World War, right? Yeah. Crabs. Yeah. Right. I'm glad we've discussed <laughs> this. Oh my God, they have been stealing shoes. Look. Shoes and thongs? Wait, it's Australian. It means sandals. Oh Relax. My God. Relax. How far does a crab get before he realizes that shoe doesn't fit? Or be all, or the thong doesn't fit. What are they going to do? They can't like take them back and ask for a refund because they stole them. Yeah. And they probably swap between. They're darting in, grabbing it, taking it back, trying it on in a bush. Walking up and down in front of a mirror just to see yeah. if it looks good, if push, it feels push good. Pushing the front to see if the toes are on Yeah, the right. yeah, you got to do that. Crabs have toes? Sure. What, are we going to go with the S on that one? Have you seen it? Crabs are uh, very inquisitive and they have an exceptionally good sense of smell. Is that true? If they find something that arouses their curiosity, they want to drag it away and they are big enough to. 
to have a closer look at it. They so want to have a look at it in private. Oh, so they're stealing thongs, dragging them away to behind a bush, and, and then they're in them. <clears throat> it's, nothing has changed. Really. No, nope. Nothing's changed. You know, those crabs eventually evolved <coughs> into people. I think that's how it works, yeah. And we still love sniffing thongs. Well, it's been a few million years. There's a few steps. Step one, the crab. Step 500 person. Yeah. Can you fill in a few of the gaps in between? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were before crab. So, okay, step one, dinosaur. Yeah. Step 800 crab. Step 500 well, maybe, maybe dinosaur. Maybe crabs were before the dinosaur. I don't know. It could be, there could be a minus number of steps. You might, you might have to adjust. Okay. Maybe don't like, start with the numbering. Maybe we build okay. a list and then we number it once we're done. Okay, that makes sense. We'll add numbering later. Yeah. So dinosaur, dinosaur became crab. Crab became, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah. Man. Man. Yeah, that's what happened. There's some intermediate step, the monkeys in there, obviously, gorilla yeah. and stuff. It's in there somewhere, chimps. Yeah. But they weren't chimps, were they? They were like proto-chimps. Or were they chimps? They would have been chimps. They would have been a common ancestor of chimps and people. Yeah. And then, you know, but you keep certain things through the down the ages. And one is that you like the smell of a thong. A young Australian doctoral candidate thong. It's got a certain aroma to it. You just want to want to grab it off of a balcony and run off with it. You see this? So there's a local businessman had guests over for lunch and they had a barbecue. He's got his own little sub-story within yeah. the crab article. It says the barbecue was strapped to a pole a long way away. What the fuck? A what? What? Strapped to a pole. A long way away. Is it to stop Crabs. all those ground critters coming along and... Must be. Eating um, stuff. But the guest sent some photos in the morning of a huge crab that had lifted up the hood of the barbecue and was climbing inside. Wow. So it's like cooking itself. Well, I don't think it was into... No, it wasn't. It was helping itself to the bar. It was just being a gentleman. Was there like still like a sausage? What do they call them? A snag. Yeah, it was probably thinking it needed to turn... They needed time to be turned over. It's probably lending a hand. Oh my God, because like the tongs that you use, they're just like pincers of a claw. Oh my God, you're right. It would be great actually, because they're probably quite heat resistant, the pincer as well. Well, maybe, hmm. maybe we can do some experimentation later. Yeah. yeah, that crab news was top top dollar. Is there more crab related news? There is. I, d I hope this wouldn't be. This is a crab episode, Lewis. This is another Christmas Island crab story Look. about the red crab migration. Oh my god. Look how good they are. They're so bright. They're like cherry tomatoes. Oh, I just want to like eat one and have it burst in my mouth. What about these lovely crabs on Christmas Island? So, crabs like to move around, okay? And I think it's to do with the fact that they need to be in a particular spot to make babies and then in a different spot to... Ignore the babies. Yeah. Get away from the babies, yeah. <laughs> Just going out to buy some milk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Just look after yourself. <clears throat> and that's it, they're gone. Yeah. So they migrate. Um, but the important thing is that during migration, they... They cross the entire island and the island is obviously it's a human settlement there there are roads and obviously it could be devastating roads completely covered swarming with crabs so the people of christmas island came up with a solution okay and it wasn't build a tunnel underneath the road and have the road be like a bridge yeah because that would make too much sense Instead, they built this. What the fuck is that? It's like a crab climbing wall. Oh my it's god, it's a bridge. So steep. So they're used to climbing up trees, coconut trees, I guess. Um, 
this is amazing. Look at this this thing. So, wow. As you can see, it's five and a half meters tall. There's no way a human's going up that. Especially with all those crabs on it. Oh my god. Crabs only. But what I want to know is, is there like a one-way system? Like, do the crabs go up and stay to the right? Um, How does it work in Australia? Do they drive on the left? Yes. Like we do? Yes. Okay, so those guys should be coming down, right? Yeah, they're on the wrong... They should, they're coming down from the other side. Okay. Yeah. This is the drop-off point. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it weird, though? Because they have to, like... They also have, like, some fences and things to try and gently Funnel nudge them. them in certain directions. Into a big pot. <laughs> <laughs> but I just love the idea of... Um, this, this is going to sound dumb, right? But imagine all these crabs, right? This isn't over a road. This is over a railway, right? Right. And the crabs are all catching a train. Are they? So they're on their way to, like, platform three. So they're all crossing the bridge, <laughs> right? <laughs> and they're halfway over the bridge. And then, like, the announcer says, a train from... It was about to arrive at platform three, we'll now be arriving at platform one. And they all have to turn around and come back down the bridge. <laughs> a train from the beach to the other side of the island. The thing is, they would probably just follow other crabs, right? They're not very, they're kind of just, they're kind of not like sheep because they're crabs, obviously, but you know, they follow what the other crabs are doing. I always wonder who's in charge. The king. The king of the crabs. Yeah, king of the crabs. Hmm. Has he got a little crown? How do you know he's the king? He's got a crown, but it's made of coral. Ooh. And he has a scepter, also made of coral. Okay. And he has a robe. That's made of coral too. Weird. Yeah. He has a throne, made of gold, oddly enough. Weird. Golden colored coral. More pictures of crabs. I mean, I don't think they have much else today on Christmas Island. Ugh. Look at that guy, he's like meditating in the middle of a whole load of crabs. So this is why they need the bridges, because otherwise the roads just have to be closed for Good, like isn't it? however long. I like that they're doing this. They're taking care of nature, letting all the crabs do their thing. You know, it's, got, it's about mankind living in harmony with nature. Because a lot of the time, there's going to be no crabs. You know, people might think there's nothing. The crabs aren't using this. We'll have it. But then the crabs, a couple of days a year, are like we need to get away from all those kids we've had. They're really annoying, and then they need their holiday. Do you think this? Do you think this fucking this bridge is just? just unused like 360 days of the year i reckon yeah and then for like five sometimes six days of the year it's just loaded with crabs it's like rush hour this for crabs it's not always like this it's not 24 7 crabs they move from the forest to the coast to breed and release eggs 18 days Ooh. okay that's it's a long journey. It's a lot of action. That's well, two and two and a half weeks out of a year. You've got to walk across the whole bad. island. They're only a small crab. Crabs. Look at them hanging out. It's like a selfie. That one. Oh my god! Look at that. that these crab? are not all crabs, right? Are these? Yeah, no, I think they are. Uh, uh, they look like flowers, don't they? Oh no, that is not crabs. No, I refuse to believe that's crabs. They're all crabs. So many baby red crabs. That's oh, why they look different. They look little tiny ones. Oh Jesus. Oh, I don't like that. Why not? They look lovely. Look at them, they're cute. Oh my God. Could you imagine if you just fell onto them? Probably quite soft. What if you were the first thing that they saw? They'd carry you like crowd surfing. They hatch out their eggs. They lift you across. Yeah. Mama. Right. Mama. Join in. Oh, they look crabs. I mean, sure. I guess so. Crab news. Crabs. That was something special. Thank you, Simon. Very, very much enjoyed that. You're welcome. Crabs. They'll get you. <laughs> <laughs>